Don't overthink this. I had a wrestler years ago. His dad was a great guy, the first guy ever to our wrestling academy, Rodney Wood. And he was uh, just a great dude. Um, but one time we were talking and he said, well, he had, he really was like into it. I mean, he kept notes, my wrestling uh, practices and he had a wrestling notebook from our practices that thick and he studied it. And he had it figured out where his son was going to try two stand-ups, and if it didn't work, then he's going to try a sit-out. And if he couldn't score, he was going to go back and then right back to a switch. And he was mad because his son couldn't get away. And I kind of got to the bottom of it, and I was like, dude, you can't do that. You just don't be mad at your son. Be mad at yourself for trying to. This is not a script, you know. I always say this. In gymnastics, I can do my moves, but... When I'm on the balance beam, no one's moving the beam on me. No one's hitting me in the head. No one's pulling on me. No one's double-legging me before I hit my g gymnastics move. So gymnastics is a sport of skill and technique and moves, actually, but it's a very constant environment. Uh, so is Olympic diving and a lot of other sports. Wrestling's not constant. You have to wrestle off of a feel. So we just say this. Get a takedown. Ride your opponent, get away. Whatever it takes to do those three things, do it. Let your instincts take over. Don't pre-plan the match like a script, you know. Try this move for 32 seconds. And if it doesn't work, try this one for three seconds and then go back. I mean, none of this works. You know, I had a kid years ago, Eric. He was very nervous, state finals. And he had a, a close match, you know. If I remember correctly, it was like a two-point match. And he's super nervous. He goes, you told me to come and find you if I needed some counseling, you know. He was so nervous. And he had all these coaches and parents telling him how to win the match, and they just screwed him all up. That happened to my son one time, too, in high school. Uh, you know, too, too many uh, pieces of advice, you know. Screwed up his head. It was hard to sit and be a part of. But um, you see that also... Uh, you know, from a parenting standpoint, it's because the parent, they love their kid and they're so nervous themselves that they just want this fear and anxiety to go away. And so they try to figure out the match, right? Coaches do it too. And it's just, it ruins a lot of kids' opportunities. Let's be honest. So what you should do, what I told Eric was this. I got a great game plan for you, Eric. When you're on your feet, throw him down. When you're on top, hold him down. And when you're on bottom, get up. And he really, I mean, his whole personality changed, his eyes changed. And he kind of like said, okay. I go, that's, that's the best game plan in the sport of wrestling. And he walked away, and I'm not exaggerating, he won 10 to nothing. And uh, a little bit later, I, you know, we were talking, I go, you, you, you can't overthink this stuff, all right? You can't, you know. Um, there's a lot of unknowns in wrestling. There's a saying about entrepreneurs. They jump out of an airplane and they build a parachute on the way down. Wrestling's the same way. Now, I'm not saying you don't have some ideas. You know, there's video clips on advice series, on our advice series about having game plans for matches and so forth. So it's good to have a game plan, a minor one. The game plan might change. You know, your opponent may have shot off the whistle last time, and so your game plan is, let's watch that. Your opponent may have scored a lot from a tilt. Okay, so I have a game plan for that. Maybe this match, he, he changed the way he wrestled since I beat him last time. So the game plan I had for the match is now different. So I, I have a, a rough, loose game plan, but I know that it might change, and I'm okay with that. I tell my kids all the time, what's going to happen in the match? We don't know. We might have a few ideas, but we're not going to think more than that. Is it okay if, if uh, you know, we go into the match not knowing what's going to happen? Sure. There's a lot of unknowns in wrestling, and we are okay with that. In fact, we like it. Embrace it. That's the way the sport is. Don't try to change the sport. Just accept the fact that we really don't know what's going to happen when we get into the mat. You, we don't know, right? I can break my leg. It happens all the time. I don't. The ref can make a bad call. These things are distracting us from having success because 
trying to cure the unknowns, which can't be cured, causes stress and anxiety. And now my brain's thinking about all of these what if type scenarios rather than throwing people down, getting their legs, holding people down, getting away. So we, should, we need to keep our thoughts very simple and our, and our, um, our, our game plan pretty simple as well. So let's not overthink wrestling and let's not make the mistake as a parent of trying to guarantee success because you're not going to do that either. Check us out at perlerwrestling.com. Our camps have sold out the past two years in a row. So um, if you're interested, we would love to have you. But uh, it's best to sign up pretty early. And uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Share it with your friends. I hope these advice clips are helping.